Hi, this is James Bernard from Propellerhead Software with another Reason Sound Design video. This week, I'm going to show you how you can use the Combinator as a quick and easy way to create custom sounds. For a majority of users, the large amount of preset patches that are included with Reason cover most of their needs when it comes to finding the right sound for a track. But there are also a lot of us that want to create something new and unique by making our own custom presets. Anyone who has been using synthesizers for a while and is very familiar with all the different parameters and how they shape and modify a sound might be able to quickly create the sound they are after using an initialized patch. But for newer users, trying to create a sound they hear in their head while learning what each knob, slider, or button of a synth does to the sound can get very confusing. Since each of the four rotary knobs and buttons on the Combinator can be used to control multiple parameters and on multiple devices simultaneously. It can be used as a quick and easy sound creation device. First, let's create a combinator. Next, we'll create a subtractor inside of the combinator and select Initialize Patch from the Edit menu. Now click on the Show Programmer button on the combinator and select the subtractor in the Device section. We want to be able to really sculpt and shape a sound using only four knobs and buttons, so I'm going to label them using very general descriptions, like tone, fast and slow, dark and bright, and so on. Let's use rotary knobs one and two to control the tone of the sound by selecting oscillator one wave and oscillator two wave as the targets in the modulation routing section. We will use button two to turn on tone two by assigning it to oscillator two on and off. Next, we will use rotary knob 3 to make the sound respond fast or slow when we play a note by selecting the amp envelope attack as a target. If we want the sound to fade out slowly when we turn the knob to slow and stop playing, we would select rotary 3 as a source and the amp envelope release as a target. Rotary knob 4 can be used to shape how dark or bright the sound is by assigning it to filter frequency. If we want this to have a more pronounced effect, we can also assign rotary 4 to filter resonance and reverse the minimum and maximum values so that the value decreases as the knob is turned up. We can use the remaining buttons to change things like the octave, turning on a filter LFO, and something interesting, like adding FM using the mod envelope. I use this concept to create a bunch of patches, which I hope can make the process of sound design fun and easy for anyone, especially those of you who might be just starting out. I named it Easy Sound Designer, and you can download it from this link. There's a README document included, which gives a bit more detail about the patches and how they're set up. Have a play with these, and if you come up with some new ideas, please send me your Reason song file and your patches to product specialist at propellerheads.se and maybe we'll feature them in one of our future videos. See you soon.